Hello, it's Wednesday. It's time for News 2 Gives Back, and I'm meteorologist Marcus Bagwell. News 2 Gives Back is brought to you by Nashville Subaru in partnership with Goldstone Financial Group. We're wanting to recognize different agencies that assisted during the tornadoes back in May, and we're in Murray County today, and we're at the Murray County 911 building, and these first responders the dispatchers, they did some tremendous work. We were able to recognize uh, and talk to the dispatchers that were here during the daytime. And when that tornado happened through Murray County and in Columbia, it came right at shift time. So I'm here with Director Mark Gandy. He's going to tell us a little bit more about that. Mark, thank you so much for your time. Tell us about that particular day, what it was like for you all as you saw this tornado coming and then the subsequent calls that you got after. That's correct. We had had a heads up that the storms were very likely that day so we had briefed our staff on uh, review some of the uh, procedures and different things uh, luckily when this if there is a lucky side to it the storm actually hit its shift change so we were already double staffed which allowed us to handle over 600 calls that day uh, normally we're running running 300 50 to 400, but like I said, we were over 600 that day, over 500 the next day, and then it kind of tapered back off. So it was a large volume of calls in a short period of time. Wow, that is a lot of calls there. And how are your first responders, your dispatchers, how did they feel and how have they responded since uh, that event? Because it was very intense tornado that came through and it came across an area that people live in your dispatchers here live here in Murray County and surrounding areas not only did it, did it go over downtown it came right across the top of our facility here as well so they they uh, were already anxious to begin with uh, but they've handled it well uh, they deal with stressful situations every day so uh, we've reviewed some of our policies and procedures and, and made a few minor adjustments but we did pretty well through through uh, throughout the storm that is great. Uh, tell us about the work that they do. They're here when somebody calls at a moment's notice, they are ready to an an answer the phone very quickly and they have to provide a very calm nature to help reassure that person that help is coming. Yes, there's a national standard of 10 seconds or less to answer 911 calls. We at a large percentage of the time are under that. If there's some major incident that happens, uh, like a major wreck and a major road or a large grass fire or something on the interstate. We'll get an influx of calls and sometimes we'll go a little over the 10 seconds, but by and large, we're under that, uh, which I'm very proud of. Our, our telecommunicators are very proud of that. Um, they work hard. Uh, they're all trained in uh, emergency medical dispatch as well as the um, national standard of telecommunicators. And you all have a lot of growth here in Murray County, not just the city of Columbia, but Murray County as a whole. Does that have an impact on you, you all being able to uh, take these calls in a quick manner and then get them out to the first responders on the streets? Yes, we're, we are consistently looking at the time to answer. If that uh, gets over the 10 seconds, it indicates that we need to hire new staff and bring more people in. Uh, we have added several staff for, per each shift because of that growth. Another thing that we handle uh, are the basic maps that you everybody comes from. Your 911 center and draws those maps and puts those out for consumption on the public databases. Wow, that is great. Okay, one thing I want to ask you about just as we wrap up, uh, you gave us a, an emergency kit and this is something that I think is uh, really important. Will you tell us a little bit more about uh, why you all decided to do this and what are some things that you've put in here just as some things that people need to have. So we have emergency supplies in this building and we push our employees to be prepared. So being prepared is you've got to be prepared at home before you can be prepared for work and be prepared to help others. So these kits are something that we've put together. They've got um, blankets, matches, glasses, goggles, a few things in there that uh, should you be stranded in an emergency in your vehicle uh, that you can have readily accessible to you. So we believe that everybody should have that in their car and we just try to practice what we preach. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, one of the cool things in here, some people may not think about it much, is a whistle. Uh, very, very important. And you mentioned that having a whistle sometimes can be the helpful tool, especially if you're trapped underneath certain debris or whatnot, it may be hard to find somebody. 
Right, it takes a lot less energy to blow that whistle than it does to what, yell loud enough for somebody to hear you two or 300 yards away that may be looking for you. Yes, yes, absolutely. Uh, one last thing, and just general things for 911, if somebody's calling or whatnot, uh, is there any specific things that people may not be giving as far as information that's more critical that will help your dispatchers? If you dial 911, be prepared very first thing to tell us where you are it, to the greatest extent possible exactly. In case the call drops are disconnected, we at least have a location to know where there is something going on. I know that we go through a lot of questions and some of them may be uh, very stressful to the caller, but we have to go through our process to make sure we get you the right help at the right time in the right place. Okay, that's important. So make sure that you give your address. That'll be very, very important when you call 911. Director Mark Gandy, thank you so much. We're so excited to recognize you all and bring you all lunch today. And we appreciate your work well, each and every day. Thank, thank you, and thanks to News 2 for always looking out for our communities. We appreciate it. Yes, absolutely. We're excited to bring them lunch, and we just want to make sure that all of our dispatchers across all of our counties, you all do an amazing, amazing work. And so thank you so much. We brought them lunch today and appreciation for News 2 Gives Back brought to them by Nashville Subaru in partnership with Goldstone Financial Group. I'm News 2 meteorologist Marcus Bag. Well, thanks for taking time to watch and we hope you have a wonderful Wednesday.